Once upon a time, there was a numinous kingdom under the sea. There were many palaces made of gold. Stories are fascinating to hear in this area because they included stories of Lord Krishna. Yes, you heard me right. Do you think I'm nuts? Do you think there's any truth or validity in what me Nama is saying right now? If you think that way, listen to the rest of this. Welcome to Dwaraka, the city that has been under the sea for years and years. India is a diverse nation with complex geography and sets an example to the world with its varied cultures and traditions. In India, there are many ancient and great temples around the nation, each with its own set of customs, rituals and traditions. It is believed about India that we have many mysteries that are above the ground and many more mysteries that are buried underwater. They are still waiting for the right time to be unearthed. One from such truths is the lost city of Dwaraka, which has closed the eyes with all mysteries, waiting for the correct time to be unveiled. Dwaraka is a town located in the coastal state of Gujarat in the Jamnagar district. The city of Dwaraka is directly linked to India's history and the Lord Krishna's life. Dwaraka has existed since the Dwapar Yug and continues to stand as a solid pillar as recorded in all historical writings such as the Skanda Purana, the Vishnu Purana, the Srimad Bhagavad Gita and the Hari Yamsa. Dwapar Yug as per the Sanatan celestial calculation ended at around 5200 BC and is approximately 7200 years old. Yes, it is much older than the Harappan civilization. Dwarka has been the karma land of Lord Krishna, who is the eighth avatar of Lord Vishnu. Lord Krishna was born in the city of Mathura, but he moved to Dwarka after killing his uncle Kansa for the atrocities he was committing. Lord Krishna built the city of Dwarka, and in the Mahabharata, Dwarka has also been called as Krishna city. Dwarka was submerged due to various reasons. It being a magnificent city, what was the reason that it got submerged into the sea? Many experts and scientists have been researching on Dwarka for years. Experts such as Rabat Y.S., the former director of the State of Archaeological Departments, claims that a tsunami struck 3,500 years ago, submerging numerous cities, including Dwaraka. Marine scientists discovered remnants of an underwater civilization near the coast of Dwaraka in the 1970s. Following that, in the year 2002, scientists discovered an extremely advanced civilization of an ancient past lying untouched beneath the ocean's surface. With the help of sound matrix, image technology, and sub-bottom profiling, marine scientists were able to find the exact location of the city, including some stone structures. The lost city of Dwaraka was found 120 feet underwater in the Gulf of Kambay or Kambhat of the western coast of India. The total length of the city is 7 to 8 kilometers and it is 3 to 4 kilometers wide. After carbon testing, this city was found to be between 7,000 and 9,500 years old. The most amazing thing about the underwater city is that all human remains are still intact. Dwaraka has been mentioned in the ancient Indian scriptures because it was linked to Lord Krishna's life. Many people have been interested in knowing these facts. Even scientists are doing research and have been very surprised with these findings. What is surprising them most is that in most of these findings from Dwaraka, 
which are more than 5000 years old there still exists in almost status quo situations many scientists were astonished by discovery of evidences the discovery has put modern science many years behind and has made the world conscious of a vast string of human history scientists have divided dwarka into two parts but dwarka is the area near the water surface where lord krishna is said to have lived with his family dwarka is also known as shanka dhora a shanka meaning conch scientists discovered many artifacts made of conch shell while conducting the research in this area in the excavation of dwarka many mud vessels temple bells artifacts were found these artifacts appear to be from a temple or a city and carbon dating indicates that they date between 7500 to 7200 bc or right in the prehistoric period at the time of research scientists also found a massive man-made wall of about 550 meters that has been unearthed at the time of low tide and can be easily seen as per oceanographers experts claim that some portion near the bet dwarka which is now underwater was submerged in the water at a later stage not at the same time as the main city of dwarka through research it was found that this is because this area was very near to the coast and there have been signs of recent construction there it goes back to as recent as around 3500 to 1500 bc similar to the time of the late Harappan culture. The main Dwaraka city is still underwater, two to three kilometers deep into the sea. It is believed that this is where from Lord Krishna administered his kingdom. It is revealed from the carbon dating of artifacts found here that it's almost 7,500 to 9,000 years old and went underwater due to a 5,000 year old tsunami. Scientists found many copper vessels, bells, which they have been used for ritualistic purposes. Scientists also found strange structures made of iron near Dwarka, which has been sent to a lab for further testing. After all of this, there are many artifacts and objects that are still lying underwater, and further investigation may be conducted on them. The first excavation was done in 1930 and the location was found after which due to some reason the research was completely stopped after 1930 the next research started around 1967 in which lots of information was found but once again research was stopped by archaeologists the most recent investigation began in 2002 with scientists using more equipment than earlier and they discovered plenty of unexpected, astonishing revelations. But this exploration was also halted by the central government. It is very surprising that even after getting so much evidence, the research was stopped and the team was asked to stop all investigations in this area. So much evidence and work stopped. The world still doesn't know the complete truth behind Dwaraka. It is very eager to know the same, I'm sure. Wouldn't it be appropriate for the government of India to establish a crew of archaeologists and give them the freedom to explore the Dwarka site so that the truth might be revealed to the world? Once the truth is out, it will reveal a completely new dimension for the Indian subcontinent and for the entire nation. It will also add a lot of value to all of us who believe in Lord Krishna. If you like the content of this video, do like and subscribe to my channel Meet Meenamma. Don't forget to click the bell icon for regular updates. Also do comment and interact with Meenamma. I would love your opinions. Meenamma looks forward to meeting you again in the next video and episode. Let us together take a long journey into yet another mystery that intrigues me. Till then ladies and gentlemen. Have a great life and make a difference.